Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mo's. In today's episode we're going to be taking a little look at an MTD um, little push lawnmower with a roller on the back. This came in as part of a job lot uh, that I picked up. It's nothing um, to look at. It's not going to win any prizes um, for best looking lawnmower of the world. Um, but it does currently run to a degree. It's got a decumps on the top. Um, I need it just to run a bit better than what it is now, um, so I can then sell it on. As I say, it's not going to make a lot of money, but at least I get my money back, and it comes as part of a job lot as well. So um, as long as I sell one of the lawnmowers, I should be um, in, in, to, in for profit as it is. So we're going to do that one today. As I say, it's, it's, it's nothing to look at. It's got a plastic deck, uh, Decumpsy, which is hunting and surging and doing all that sort of all that sort of lovely stuff that you'd expect from a Decumpsy. Um, but uh, we'll have a look at that, see how we get on with that. As I say, it, do, it does currently run, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, if this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two of them on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's check out this MTD with the decumps on the top. Right, it is absolutely a fantastic morning. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, the sun's out. We're on our second to last day of isolation, so you, by the time you guys see this video, we'll all be, be out and free. But we've got two more days to go. And as of yet, no one else has caught it. Mrs. P's doing quite well, so very, very happy. Here it is, MTD uh, 661P, four horsepower, uh, decumps on it, 16 inch deck. It's got a little roller on the back. It's a push mower, it's faded. It's done all that sort of stuff. I could possibly spray it up um, we'll see how we get on, but um, for what it is, the money's already in the bank anyway. So if I, you know, this mower cost me about 15 quid, something like that. So if I can sell it for like 50 quid, I'm happy with that with a service on it. So um, there's a bit of juice in there, not a great deal. I have had it running um, previously in the videos that you would have seen. It's a bit of juice in there. Let's give it some pumps. It says five on there, but we'll give it about 35 just to try and get some fuel through. We'll see what we get. There's nothing to look at, but it, it'll, it'll do somebody a turn. It don't run too bad. It, it just sounds like an absolute bag of nails. All the covers all loose. It's not got a bent crank or nothing like that, but. We'll have a look at it, put it in the shed, uh, give it a new spark plug, an oil change, possibly clean the carburetor if it needs it, um, a bit of a jet wash off and a bit of a tie up, and just so we can't improve the appearance, and get this machine out to get it sold. Right, here it is, little tiny decumpsy on the old bench. Let's get a rag and um, we'll get the oil out of the machine first off, because there's no telling how long that, that oil's been in there, probably since day one. Let's get the oil extractor, which I emptied out yesterday. Let's have a little look. Take that off. So what we're looking at. It's got some oil in it, which is good. Even just by tightening this up will help, you know. I don't know if I've got any red paint. I'll have to have a look. I ain't got a lot. Uh, so we're just about about halfway up, oh, no, nearly, nearly at maximum. All done not too bad, but we're going to have you all out anyway, because I'm going to sell it as a fully serviced uh, machine, because it always tends to sell better if you say it's fully serviced, and, you, and of course you have done a full service. So we're drawing you all out on this machine. Generally, this machine just wants a damn good tidy up. I may should have run the machine a bit longer than what I did. Get a bit more of a run to make that all a bit thinner. Let's see how we get on. I'm going to get some gunk off as well. Because there's so much gunk on that engine, which I can air compress off a bit later on. The two mad ran by the carburetor. So it is actually running. I want to see what it will run like with a new plug in it. And what I had was so I'm going to disconnect the HT lead. We'll add the plug out. And we'll put a new big 2LM in there. Um, 
and then we give it a test once all the oil's out and I've sharpened the old blade up and all that sort of stuff. So it's just a, a maintenance video really. This plug's well old. It's got a uh, B to L M in there, but uh, it's well it's well corroded and what have you. So that goes straight in the bin. We don't want that. Um, I'm going to spray up the um, the exhaust guard, spray that up black or silver. Um, I'll try and do, use some revive it on here. You can you can also use that. Uh, you can just use a block of blow like a blow lamp on it as well to try and improve the appearance of it as well. See if that pick it up. Um, but all of these are all just loose or just threaded. They're not doing nothing. So I need some new self tapping screws in there just to hold that on. They're not doing they're not doing nothing at all. What's the pull cord look like? Pull cord looks alright actually. I need to pull it all the way out to inspect it. My drill's right in the way. Here you go. Let's get a slightly bigger, bigger screwdriver. So these have got to come out. Which is not wanting to do at all. They're rounded right off. Someone's been in there already. I might use a little tiny. Um, flat-headed driver maybe, or Torx bit. I might get a Torx in there. Maybe a Torx will, yeah, a Torx will turn it, just. Mm. I'm struggling a little bit here. Let's get a flat-headed driver. I've got some self-tapping screws. Which I can uh, I can put in. Oh my word! One screw's holding me up for the entire day. I had a right day yesterday. Working on that bow moral, Tw uh, 17 inch. Oh my lord! That was an absolute pig of a job. But uh, we're getting there slowly. That we are we are starting to win. That's a better screw driver, Nick. That should do it. Yeah, that's got it turning. Is that actually going to turn though? No. I might just have to just literally pull that straight out. It's not doing anything. Anything I put in there, that screw's just just not doing that. Just eating eating the screw away every time. So I'm gonna get a pair of long nose long nose pliers on that. Grab that off. Because we're gonna clean all this all this area up, you see. So we're draining you all out. I'll get a new plug and I'll come back to you in two ticks. Right, so um, all was out of the machine. I have taken the blade off and sharpened that as well. I've given the muffkin a uh, a little bit of a uh, a spray up just to make it look look a bit more appealing to the eye. Because fifty percent of the sale is the appearance, right? New spark plug going in. Um, I've done the air filter as well. I didn't have a proper decumpsy air filter. I don't normally stock them, um, so I've managed to get a a foam filter which I've uh, shaped shaped to uh, to do the job. So that'd be all right. The one that was in there was abs absolutely jammed with, uh, with grass and stuff, was soaking wet. So uh, that would be doing no decent at all. I've got to put all back into the machine. Um, it's got a really weird grass box on this one. I've not seen one like it before. Um, I was struggling to put it back on, but you, you, you lift uh, the flap up, a grass box comes away as standard, but it's actually the flap that holds a grass box on. It's not actually, it's not actually um, sit on no on no tying, so you've got to slide that into there. So it's, it's a right cack handed job, and it sits in like that. So it's actually a flap that holds it holds the grass box on, but it's a good size grass box for it. Um, next, I've got to do I've got to put back on the um, the cover. Now the cover, unfortunately, um, doesn't have self tapping screws that go all the way in. You've got these big holes, and they've got these like these. Uh, these are like raw plugs, if you like, that grip it. And that's why all, all three of them had sort of failed to a degree. So I'm gonna try and put some longer size, um, uh, some fatter size self tappers and see if that holds it. But if not, I have got the option of, uh, I think I've got a spare decumpsy pull cord. If not, I might just take this stuff off. Um, it only snaps off quite easily. And I can just spray that up. Um, because my, my, my feelings are, if I put this back on, this is all broken and, and all, all sort of had it anyway. That's, that's literally just gonna 
um, rattle all over the place. I could spray it black to make it make it make it blend in a bit more, but if I spray that black, then that's going to make that look bad. So, what I may do is I may just just take this stuff off, clean that all up, and then give that a, a little bit of a lacquer up, a spray up, um, to tie the appearance. Because that, that that MTD cover, um, I'm not going to get no screws in there. I don't think the, the, these are, are well butchered. They only open up so so far. Um, before they start start to start to uh, muck about, so I'm, I think I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to get a scraper behind here, and I'm gonna, just going to pull all this all this stuff off. It is it is all brittle anyway. Give that a clean and a, and a lacquer, a spray up with some with some black satin, and that'll just boost the appearance a bit more. Um, there's no there's no reason for it to be on there. I've seen lots of decumpties without them on, so it's it's no it's no biggie. Um, and then we we'll go from there, I suppose. Right, um, just started uh, finishing off on this uh, this Ferrari, Ferrari Red uh, Decumpty lawnmower. Oh, well, more than Robin Reliant, really. Um, what I decided to do in the end was I took the little grub screws out of here and I've just literally drilled through the pull cord casing and now it's on there um, with no problems. It, it does look better with it. I did start to chip away that, that stuff, um, but it started to leave marks. There'd be quite a bit of work there. And for what it is, it just really is not worth me investing in the machine. So new spark plug, air filter's been done. I've cleaned all the engine off with some gunk off and whatever and compressed that all off. I've got to put some oil in it now. Um, air filter's done, blade's been done. So that's about it. So let me get some oil. Oil. There's some oil. How much have I got in there? Uh, 500 mil. That should be more than enough what I need. I need a funnel. Funnel, which I think is over the other end of the shop. I had a bit of a tidy up the day before yesterday. Here we are. Let's grab my funnel. If I can get it off that screw, that's it. And we put 500 mil in here, give or take. I'll give it, I'll give it about 400 to begin with, and then we'll go from there. Um, as I say, you know, th th this machine is, is never, ever going to make the money you would expect it to, okay? So um, either way, I still like to service some machines because uh, this machine does run. There's no oil leaks on it or nothing like that, nothing untoward. So it stands a chance of, of at least at least lasting the season if looked after. Uh, that's had uh, one, two, that's had 300 mil. So if you can literally bring a machine back um, from the old dead light, give it a service, and even though it doesn't look, doesn't look nice, you know, time I, I put some, a bit of lacquer maybe on here, try and pick it up a touch, um, it's gonna sell for good money, you know, because it's, it's going to be it's going to be in the profit margin for me straight away. So I'm still in the money for it, but uh, that, that's no excuse not to at least service a machine up as it should be. Because you know if you if you sell your machines as serviced, then that's what they should be. If you're going to partly service it, you should list it as partly serviced. You know, see so many adverts at the moment on the Facebook Marketplace recently recently serviced, and I'll zoom in at the old spark plug. It may have been recently serviced, but it's like it's been left outside for five years, you know? So, um, at least I'm honest. I'll try to be try to be as honest as I can, you know, um, when I'm doing my machines. And uh, if you're honest, then it, it goes a long way in people's eyes. Speaking of eyes, uh, where's that? That's gonna be halfway up. That's just a touch more, about another, about another 100 mil that needs. Stick that back into it. Grab me all, and this is also why I do the videos, you see. So if this engine does blow up, which it stands every chance of blowing up, every chance, because um, of the age of it, you know, um, at least I can say, well, I serviced it. I tested it, I ran it, and it did exactly what it said on the tin, you know? So we should see. It's got to pass its test yet. If you don't pass its test, and this is all for nothing, um, I'll be taking me all back out and plug back off and just stripping it for parts, but uh, it ran, so it stands a good chance. I may have to come back yet and do a, do a, do a carburetor clean on it, because it was a bit hunting, but then the air filter was done. Uh, the spark plug was uh, was old. So it's got all those ingredients first before I go um, putting any more time into it. Let's just service it up as it should be. And then that way we stand a chance of um, of running it right. Where are we now? Yeah, absolutely bang on, that's where it needs to be. So happy with that. So let's take it outside, we'll give it a run. I'll put some more petrol on, because it's a bit low on juice. 
We'll give it a good run and uh, see what it does. I'll get a bit of a tidy up as well whilst we're here because it, does, it is in desperate need of a tidy up. Um, I might just try and hit it with some lacquer just, just to try and make it shine a little tiny bit best I can, but um, it's not going to improve any of this really. You can hit these with a bit of a blow lamp, but I have tried it on certain plastics. Certain plastics it does it, other plastics it makes, just makes it blister or go white, even whiter. So um, I'll leave it for now. Um, if it doesn't sell in sort of the first sort of two or three weeks of it being up, then uh, I'll either drop the price or I'll come back and I'll just blow it over with, with some red red toolbox paint. I might have some, we'll have to wait and see, but if I start to spray it up, I've got to do a whole lot. And that, that's a lot of work and it's still only ever gonna fetch a small amount of money. The advantage is it does have a rear roller and people do like the rear rollers for striping lawns. So that is the advantage point for it. So let me give it a tidy, I'll meet you outside. Right, let's get off the old bench. I've just hit it with a little bit of lacquer just to try and make it shine in the old sun. That's all I'm trying to do. But uh, this is a bit of a lost cause on this one, I'm afraid. Um, unless you want to go all out, but it's only a push mower. And I think it only owes me about, owes me about 15 quid, so it would definitely make more than that. Let's get it out. So that's got a rear roller on it, which is its only saving grace it has got. Plastic deck, I suppose, so no rust that sort of stuff let's put it there it doesn't look too shabby i've seen i've seen a lot worse let's give it some primes now i'm suspecting it's still to hunt and have to come back and do a carburetor clean on it at some point but as long as it's not all rattling like it was beforehand let's bring that pull cord up to here where that belongs it's a bit better right let's give that a pull see what happens then Another pump. Come on to camps. Mm -hmm. A new air filter. Didn't like your new air filter. Let's give it a few pumps and just try and keep it running. It's going to want a new carburetor clean. So I'll go back on the bench, we'll have a carburetor off, and we'll go again. It's a shame because it was running beforehand. Um, let me just take that, that air filter off very quickly, see if that makes any difference. It's strange because it's been starved, starved with air beforehand. New air filter, and it should, should be breathing life into it. Lovely. So 
So don't always jump into a carburetor clean. Have a little look around at first. I put some SV150 foams in there thinking that would be enough uh, to, to clear the air. But obviously that, that's actually um, giving a, a starvation of air into the system. Don't run too bad now. So I'll order up a new air filter for it, a proper decumpsy one, and uh, that'd be good to go. So quite happy with that. Okay, so that's the decumpsy now all up and running. And what I have just done off camera is um, I've cleaned the old air filter out uh, as best I can, put that in and tried it with that, and it runs sweet as a nut like that. However, I will be putting a new air filter in there. Um, I would have thought by putting a foam in there, it would have done the job just as well because it can breathe through it, but obviously too much. So uh, for what it is, a uh, new spark plug, um, it will have a new air filter and um, all changed, blade sharp and balance, a bit of a tidy up, a bit of a nut and a bolt tight, tighten up and what have you. And that little machine, that's gonna run all day long. Um, and it'd be a cheap little mouth for someone, I don't know, 60 to 80 quid, somewhere in there maybe, 50 uh, at the lowest maybe, but it, it is what it is. It, it starts, it runs, it's gonna cut your grass and do what you wanna do. So uh, super, super happy. Um, I've got to order up a Decumpsy uh, air filter now, so I'm going to find one of those uh, for the cheapest price possible. Um, I might have to order a couple more in, so I've got two or three of those in actually, and I haven't got them in stock. I don't generally do a lot of Decumpsy, so I don't generally keep a lot of them in stock. But there you go. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon, but until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.